Jane Austen is a prolific author of the Regency era, learning the ins and outs of the English upper crust, as well as dealing with the matters of the heart. Good Society is a Jane Austen RPG. Good Society is the Jane Austen RPG. Describing Good Society is actually a very difficult task. As one of my viewers pointed out, it's a train simulator of RPGs. Something so hyper-focused inside its own little niche that describing it in any other context is almost impossible. However, I'm a man of integrity, and I'll do my best. The game is a tokenomics game, meaning that almost every action will be driven by a series of resolve tokens, which is the primary loop is the act of giving, taking, and exchanging of these tokens to resolve actions of story importance. There are ultimately only three states for these tokens, spending the token to do a thing, giving another player a token to do the thing against them, or negotiating with a player about the nature of that token and whether or not they want the thing to happen. That's 50% of the game at this point. The rest of the game comes in the form of acting and roll playing, as the game has actually a very strict phase system of talking, gossiping, writing in an epilogue, writing letters dramatically at one another, all while building or destroying your personal reputation to get fun and exciting tags which do absolutely nothing mechanically. All of this is held together with a playbook, while well, calling it a playbook is a bit of a, a bit, bit tad wrong, but it's a play notebook more than anything. Each character has a primary archetype as their baseline, which provide their connection as well as reputations. However, most everything else is relatively similar. So the character role is mostly a narrative device in most cases. The family sheet dictates which family they belong to, as well as their own personal reputation tags and expectations they are expected to follow. Then they need to start with the relationship to another PC, a personal desire and its effects on the personality and the current situation of the game, and then they need to make a series of connections. Often one but more will follow, and these are effectively player-controlled minor characters. But the game accounts for all of this with fucking cards. Yes, the game uses a series of cards for many things. All desires and relationships are driven by a series of numbered cards. The game even goes out of its way to encourage you to draw from the connection deck rather than just make your own connections even though you still have to fill out the card for it. If this seems a bit overwhelming with 34 relationship cards, 22 desire cards, 64 double-sided connection deck, don't worry, the game has a solution. Play sets. Fucking play sets. The writers must have realized this shit was a little bit whack. So they encouraged the use of a playset, which defines a set of playbooks which desires and relationships cards that particular playbook has. These playsets are almost mandatory due to how desires having some pretty serious changes to both the characters as well as the overall game, as well as relationships being critical to how the game is actually going to be playing out. These act as a story unto themselves, which allow the game to control the flow of its own problem it created by having all all of these cards being so mutually exclusive. However, as I stated before, it doesn't matter what I say, because this is a, for a group who loves Jane Austen and want to roleplay as Jane Austen characters. It's almost perfectly suited for people who have zero interest in roleplaying games at all, or any experience for that matter, but just want to experience this particular thing. And you know what? It does it. It does it right very well, actually. I admit it right here, right now. For what it is in its expansions, it does exactly what it sets out to do, and I respect that. But the same way that person who wants to be Mr. Darcy has no interest in beating a glitter boy operating out of Chi Town, I have no interest in good society. It's an interesting thing for a niche. A train game. Nothing more. Nothing less. My name is Notepad Anon, and this was Good Society. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. A many thanks to the generous plutocrats who keep this lavish lifestyle of mine afloat. Now, if you can buy Good Society and all its expansions for sweet baby mother of God,